welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Saints Field for today's Division II Women's Lacrosse action. Your 15th ranked Flagler College Saints are taking on the University of Montevallo Falcons. Your Saints are 10 and 1 on the year and have won their last seven games. As for the Falcons, they are 5 and 6 on the season and have lost their last three. I'm Jordan Fochi on the call, and here are the starters for birth, both sides. First, with the visiting Falcons. For defender number one, Delaney Defke. Number seven, Michaela Barberi. Number eight, Mia Black. Number nine, Jordan Morowick. Number 12, Ashley Shen. Number 14, Carson Tinney. Number 15, Anya Coase. Number 16, Jenna Piazza. Number 17, the goalkeeper, Rachel Rose. Number 18, Crystal Williams. Number 28, Kylie Shea. And number 20, or number 32, Leanna Ayers. As for the Saints, similar starting lineup as they've had all season. It'll be number two, Greta McGinnis. Working the faceoff circle. Or draw control circle, my mistake. Number three, Lexi Morton. Number five, Anna Day. Number seven, Carly Teeple. Number 15, Ella Pinder. Number 19, Carly LaFerrier. Number 21, Ava Stein. Number 22, Kenzie Dillon. Number 26, Jessica Wright. Number 40, Jen Seabach. Number 43, Molly Sloan. And in the net for the Saints is Lauren Ribadonero. Saints coming off a huge victory last time out against the number 11 team in the nation in Lynn, where Ella Pinder scored the game-winning goal in overtime to give the Saints a huge win in terms of not only their national ranking, but continue on this hot streak. They're on a seven-game winning streak. Just This team has been absolutely dominant all year and face a struggling Montevallo team who's got their hands full today coming on into the game with a three-game losing streak and facing one of the best teams in the country. It's Crystal Williams working draw control with Greta McGinnis. Falcons going to lead things off here with possession. It's going to be Anya Coase working it down. This is Tinney. Owens turned over briefly. We have a loose ball in front of the net. Crystal Williams controlling it now. Pinder, the reigning GSE freshman of the week, as that shot will miss wide. That was Anya Coes faking the attempt. Montevallo is still with possession. 40 seconds on the possession clock for them. Dylan doing a good job defending here. Inside, that's going to be a loose ball, but we're going to get a whistle and a free position attempt, I believe, here for the Falcons. Weaving her way into traffic and causing... The whistle is number 22, Hannah Fortin. Fortin drives, takes a shot and scores as she bounces it past Ribbit and Era. Montevallo taking a 1-0 lead here with 13.45 left in the first quarter. They score on their first shot on goal of the contest. Or Hannah Fortin, that's her third goal of the season. So it's coached by Grant Kellum, Shelby Harrison, and Chris Peterson. Done a fantastic job with this young program, bringing them into national into the national spotlight in only their second season here. It will be Montevallo possession after the whistle. Jordan Green's going to come on here for the Saints. And 
and Shea up top. Zanya Kuz defended now by Kenzie Dillon. Kuz drives, has it knocked out from behind. Loose ball in front of the net as Seabock lays her out. Be a free position attempt here for Anya Kuz. She'll work it out as Pinder trips there inside. Williams driving. Saints struggling to keep their footing here out front of the net. That one saved by Ribbon Error. Rebound scooped up by the Falcons. This is Crystal Williams up top. She'll drive past Pinder. We'll have shooting space violation and another free position attempt here for the Falcons. Inside. And that one's in the back of the net. Michaela Barbieri with the goal off the assist from Crystal Williams. And Montevallo with an early two goal lead with 12, 22 left here in the first quarter. We have McGinnis and Williams. Center for draw control. Saints will have their first offensive possession of the day as Kelsey Trainer scoops it up, or Caitlin Trainer, my mistake, scoops it up. Saints a potent offense, averaging just under six, 17 goals a game on the season. Morton, one of the best goal scorers in the country with possession on the wing. Behind to Jessica Wright. Wright with a little shake and bake out front. Sit out, this is Trainer now. Morton getting inside, gets double teamed, has it knocked away as Montevallo forces the turnover. It's Crystal Williams, but Morton the sneak attack there, just able to get that one back for the Saints. Laney Brown will bring it down now. Right, Teeple behind the net. Gets hit up high there as we'll have a whistle and a free position attempt here for the Saints. I was being to see a card there. Looks like the contact and the cross. Looks like a cross check right to the upper chest area of Carly Teeple. No card awarded. Teeple will drive and have it knocked out. And it will be a turnover for the Saints as that one floated over the end line. It's coming out to press here. ball in the midfield as we'll have a whistle. That was Jenna Piazza drawing the contact. This one's inside now. Montevallo working it around. Aaron Pass finds its way to Jody Morowick. Morowick looking to wrap around. This is Shea as she turns it over. This is Stein bringing it down here for the Saints. Finds Teeple. Saints looking to push the tempo here. Teeple inside for Jordan Green. 
Now to right, out front, and top shelf goal as the Saints work the fast break and some beautiful passing. Look like the Showtime Lakers there as Jessica Wright makes this a one goal game with 9.45 left here in the first. That's the 24th goal of the season for Jessica Wright on the assist from Jordan Green. A beautiful display of fast break offense there off the turnover. Stein working it up, found Teeple. Teeple then to Green and Green finding an open Jessica Wright able to deposit that one in the top shelf. Saints win possession off draw control. This is Wright driving again, finds herself in front, but just loses it for the turnover. Saints showing off the wheels here. As will be another turnover. Kenzie Dillon scoops up the air and pass. Carly LaFerrier. Pinder. Pinder spinning. Finds LaFerrier. This is Morton. Morton with 42 goals on the season. Drives and misses wide. It's still with possession, however. They got 45 seconds left on the shot clock here. Looking to Tie this one up in the first. Onaga. This is Teeple behind the net. Spins out front. Tries the backhand shot, but a great save there from the goalkeeper, Rose. Long pass here to the midfield. Completed to Piazza. Inside, and that one's in the back of the net. That was Jody Morowick making this a two-goal game yet again as Montevallo leads three to one. Morowick with her 16th goal of the season. Able to bounce that one past Ribadonera. Guinness and Amber Lynch working the draw control here. Montevallo will win possession. Loose ball though. As well, have a couple players hit the deck. Montevallo with possession. That will be a turnover as the pass skipped past Lily Motes. Kenzie Dillon turning on the afterburners, bringing it up the sideline. Saints working around here. This is Delaney Brown. Handoff here to Trainer. Now to Brown. Brown makes a move and takes a shot. That one's saved by Rose. Sloan 
Deflecting the pass, and that one's scooped up by Anna Day. Saints doing a great job of controlling the midfield here. Forcing a couple turnovers early. Up top, this is Brown. Trainer. Now to Morton. Morton driving. Trainer. It's got 35 seconds on the shot clock to make something happen here. Morton trying to work it inside. Falcons doing a great job on defense here. It's up 25 seconds on the shot clock. Trainer inside will rip one top shelf and score. What a goal. We're going to have a whistle here and a yellow card awarded. That's going to be a dangerous follow through. Going to wipe the goal off of the board and send the Saints down a man. Be a dangerous follow through. Two minutes. Two minutes. I believe that's releasable. Montevideo manages to score with the man advantage. It's a shame there because that would have been a highlight real goal for Caitlin Trainer just turning and firing. Behind the net, Seabach really forcing the turnover there as the Saints will have possession at Stein. Seabach a multiple time. PBC, or GSC, Fender of the Week. Saints looking to kill some time off of this penalty. Ruben and Nair is going to turn this one over. Yeah. Inside, this is Piazza. Shea, defended by Delaney Brown. She'll turn it over as she hits the deck, scooped up by Seabach. Seabach bringing it up. Works it over to right. Saints will be able to kill this penalty off and have some time to work the offensive possession here if they choose to. Saints successfully kill the two-minute penalty as Pinder will come in for the Saints. The Ferrier is going to come on for the Saints as well. Will be Onaga, Morton, the Ferrier, Pinder, Green, Teeple, and Wright. Onaga looking to wrap around here. Up top, this is LaFerrier. Ferrier hands it off. Morton spinning. Finds herself triple teams as she gets hit in the back of the head with a stick. I believe that's going to be a free position attempt for the Saints and Lexi Morton. Good for her 30, 43rd goal of the season here. She can net this one. Morton bounces that one into the back of the net. One goal game here as Montevallo leads three to two, but Lexi Morton with her 43rd goal of the season. Makes this a one goal game. 
We have 229 left here in the first. We'll draw control momentarily here on the GSC network. It'll be Hannah Fortin and Greta McGinnis at midfield here for draw control. Possession awarded here to Montevallo, but a great move there from Kylie LaFerrier jumping the passing lane here. She'll bring it down for the Saints. Great anticipation anticipation for the sophomore. Tiefel out front of the net, that one bangs off the post. Morton brings it inside and gets hammered. And it'll be another free position attempt here for the Saints. Saints doing one heck of a job forcing turnovers in the midfield. This will be Lexi Morton looking for her second goal of the game and looking to make this a tie ball game. Morton off the top crossbar. And it will be Saints possession still. Going to sneak that one in up high. It's off the crossbar and out. Saints will get it back to Morton here. Ferrier using the screen. Gets it to Onaga who deals with some contact and will find herself with a free position shot attempt here. Onaga inside, she'll score. Tied up at three now are the Saints and the Falcons as Sydney Onaga nets her 13th goal of the season. Saints doing a fantastic job scoring off of turnovers here. That offensive possession credited to Carly Teeple jumping, or not Carly Teeple, Carly LaFerrier jumping a passing lane in the midfield. It will be McGinnis and Williams at midfield here. Still loose ball as the Falcons will come up with possession. Falcons working it up in the midfield here. However, that one's loose. And the Saints will force yet another turnover. It's Molly Sloan scooping up the loose ball. Trainer up top, and she'll draw a free position attempt here for the Saints. Trainer inside, goal! Saints lead four to three. Caitlin Trainer netting her first of the game, or 21st of the season, the Saints Get their first lead of the contest with 34 left here in the first period. It's gonna be McGinnis and Amber Lynch at midfield here for draw control. The Saints storming all the way back. And now with their first lead of the game with 34 seconds left here in the first period. Have a 
a violation here on the Saints. It'll be Montevallo possession. This one's inside now for Piazza. She'll spin, but lose possession. Saints scoop it up and Sloan taking brunt of the contact there with five seconds left. Saints look like they're just holding it till the end of the first and they'll take a four to three lead here into the second quarter. Kaitlin Trainer scoring the leading goal here, the last goal of the first. Be back in around three minutes with more Saints Lax action here on the GSC Network. Saints started out slow but came on strong at the end of the first. They lead four to three. We got 15 more minutes left here in this first half. It'll be Greta McGinnis and Crystal Williams center here for draw control. Montevallo winning that battle six to two. However, Saints forcing 10 turnovers here early as Pinder will win possession for the Saints. Pinder, multiple time GSC freshman of the week is going to work this one inside. Morton. The 
Ferrier looking inside for Onaga. Morton will scoop up the errant pass. Behind the net for Teeple. Teeple spinning. Out front, scores! Carly Teeple gives the Saints a two goal lead here with 13.53 left in the first half. Loose ball, still loose, but we'll get a whistle and the Saints will be awarded possession. Carly Teeple, that last goal for her was her 26th of the season. Teeple, the freshman from Hollywood, Maryland, having herself quite the season for the Saints. Two of the Saints' leading scorers actually freshmen as we'll work it to Morton. Pass just sails a bit over the head of Trainer. It'll be a turnover for the Saints. We'll work it up now. A little give and go action as that's number two, Claire Withington working it down. Withington getting her first action of the game here for the Falcons. Is Chloe Norman now. Norman defended by Trainer works it over to Kylie Shea. Shea inside, she'll score. Falcons cut this to a one goal Saints advantage with 12.26 left here in the second. Kelly Shea with her second goal of the game, her 22nd of the season. Loose ball here in the midfield. Have a couple bodies hit the deck here. And it'll be Montevallo possession as that was last touched by a Saint. This is Norman. Long pass completed there to Mia Black. I'll be turned over as the Saints will get possession. It's Jody Morawick turning it over. Referees, I think, had a bit of a miscommunication there. It's Montevallo possession. Morwick leaves this one off now to Tinney. Up top, this is Lily Motes.
with Intin. Spinning. Works it over now. This is Motes again. Withington getting downhill. Moves it off here. This is Michaela Barbieri. Downhill, Norman inside. Seabach, laser out. Coming across the middle there. The hit stick is there'll be a free position attempt here for Montevallo. Chloe Norman looking to make this an equal game at five. Norman inside. Saved by Ribadonera. Rebound scooped up by Trainer. And the Saints looking to push the tempo here. Trainer. Morton now. Works it over. One more pass. Teeple out front. Just misses wide. That one was saved by Rose. They'll work it back to Teeple behind the net. Brown downhill. Finds some space out front but misses high. It's working. This is right out front. That one misses wide. Saints still with possession. They'll have 25 seconds on the shot clock. Brown working it inside. This is Morton. Morton spinning, runs over a defender, and she'll get called for the charge. Aaron pass, and it'll be a turnover as the Saints will get possession right back. People up top will work this till a Ferrier. Pinder will come on as well for the Saints. Pinder immediately making a great move, gets inside, and will draw a free position attempt here for the Saints. Took a lot of contact there out front of the net. Pinder. Off the post and in, Ella Pinder makes this a six to four game with 8.36 left here in the first half. Her first goal of the game. And her 15th of the season, the freshman. This is the current reigning GSC player or freshman of the week and had a huge goal in the last contest for the Saints where they Saints were able to knock off number 11, Lynn, on the road in overtime. Violation off the face off or the draw control will be Saints possession. The Ferrier is going to work it down now. Claudia Tanksley making her first appearance of the game. A little stutter step there is going to kick it out to LaFerrier. LaFerrier inside Teeple runs over a defender. Morton around the outside, inside, gets hammered inside, no whistle. How is that not a whistle with all that contact in there? I do not know, but we respect and appreciate our referees here in the GSC. It'll be Lexi Morton with possession off of the Montevallo turnover. 
Hallie Miller making her first appearance here for the Saints. Morton downhill to Tanksley inside. Tanksley and hit hard again. Falcons really playing aggressive here as the referee crew has all but swallowed their whistles. Saints finally getting a free position attempt here with 17-16 left in the second. Claudia Tanksley will take a shot and score and make this a 7-4 game with 17-13 or 7-13 left in the first half. The Tanksley goal, her fourth of the season. Give the Saints a three goal advantage. It'll be Williams and McGinnis at midfield here for draw control. Saints still down two in that department as the Falcons have a seven to five advantage. However, the Saints really winning this turnover battle have a six turnover advantage. So it'll be a loose ball in the midfield. That's 28. Kylie Shea coming up with possession as she gets triple teamed, somehow works her way out of that. It'll be the Falcons' possession now. However, not for long as Claire Withington unable to keep possession. She turns it over. Loose ball scooped up by Kenzie Dillon, who's going to work it up the sideline now for the Saints. Really nice day here in St. Augustine, around 82 degrees, sunny, but a lot of wind. The Ferrier up top is going to work this one over to Allie Miller. This is Morton. Inside, Teeple. Great save there from Rose on the one-timer attempt for the Saints. Morton finding Carly Teeple in a lot of traffic there. Beautiful pass for the Saints as Pinder's going to check a player in the midfield. We have an injured Montevallo Falcon here. The 28, Kylie Shea, going to come off the field. Get helped out by the trainers. Inside here, this is Claire Withington. Nearly loses possession there. It's loose. Sloan will scoop it up for the Saints. LaFarrier bringing it down. This is Jordan Green. Now Tristan Usher. Usher making her first appearance of the day for the Saints. Usher. Behind the net. Pass from right deflected, able to keep possession for the Saints. Usher out front. He's going to bring it out. Pinder looking to make a move. Works the outside, but will get a whistle. I believe that's going to be a shooting space violation. And the Saints will have a free position attempt here. Ah! 
Pinder is going to work it behind the net now for Morton. Inside to Miller. Miller unable to come up with the pass. player down here for the Saints. It's Jordan Green, he played an issue or a factor here as in the sun it can get quite hot, especially on the turf field. We've seen one player come off for what we believe is heat exhaustion for Montevallo. Saints making some substitutions here as Amy Waters, the freshman from Ponte Vedra, coming in for the Saints on the defensive side. This is right to Usher. This is Morton now. Saints working it around the outside as Trainer looks to drive. Gets it to Miller up top. Miller spinning, loses possession. Loose ball scooped up by the Saints. And a timeout will be taken by Flagler. Back in around two minutes with more Saints action. You head to the break with the Saints up seven to four. Saints with possession here. They'll have 30 seconds on the shot clock. This is Trainer with a head of steam. Kick it out now. This is Tanksley. And we're going to have a whistle here. And a free position attempt for the Saints. Late whistle. 
Trainer from the top. She'll score as the Saints lead by four now with two minutes left in the half. Caitlin Trainer with her second goal of the game. She leads all Saints in scoring in this contest. That's her 22nd goal of the season. Some goal horns going here in St. Augustine as it'll be a loose ball. I think the Saints had that draw control all secured up. However, Montevallo coming up with the loose one. Waters coming over to defend. Montevallo's going to work this one up. It's Morawick defended by Seabach. Morawick inside, pass deflected out front. And Amy Waters coming up with the loose ball. The freshman making her impact known here on the defensive end. Shot clock turned off here as the Saints can hold for the last possession of the half. This is Jordan Green. Green didn't hit hard there on the sideline. Have a whistle. Allie Miller is going to come on for the Saints. This is Tanksley in the midfield. 30 seconds left here in the half. Saints with possession in the offensive end here. On a go. Little bouncer skips past Tanksley. Morton's gonna get whistled there. <coughs> er, actually, that's gonna be Anna Day getting called off sides there. And that's going to do it for the first half. Saints lead by four off two goals from Caitlin Trainer. We'll be back in around 15 minutes with the second half of Saints Lax action.
And we are back now for the second half of action. The Saints lead eight to four and win possession off the of draw control to get things started here. Pinder looking to work her way inside. He's gonna kick this one all the way out now to LaFerrier. This is on a go. Now to Pinder. Little fake there from Onaga inside, just wide. This is LaFerrier up top. Behind the net now. This is right, wrap around just high. Morton's gonna kick this one all the way out. Saints with 30 seconds on the possession clock here. Very directing traffic up top will work this one to Onaga. Pass just a little bit high of Morton and it'll be a turnover for the Saints only their ninth of the game. Or their 10th of the game, my mistake. As Wright will press the goalkeeper Rose Saints have done a fantastic job today of forcing turnovers in the midfield. They win, or they're winning the turnover battle right now, presently 17 to 10. Makes up for some of the shortcomings that they've had in terms of draw control. Is that long pass to Piazza is gonna skip by. This is Green now with possession. Pass over the head of Teeple, and it'll be another Saints turnover. Sloppy start to the second half for both sides. Some fancy footwork in the midfield there for Anya Coase. This one's worked all the way up now to Piazza. Seabach. Looks like she forced a turnover there. We got a whistle and it'll be Montevallo possession. This is Tinney. Williams getting double teamed here as Seabach and Dillon. And there'll be a shooting space violation as Pinder stepped up. Williams is looking for a cutter here, kicks this one out to Piazza. Williams posting up inside, defended by Kenzie Dillon. Good move from her, she gets some space out front. Tries a backhanded pass. Maybe a loose ball scooped up here by the Falcons, but they'll turn it over and it'll be Saints possession. It's slowing down the tempo here as they work it up to Sloan. Pinder driving here into Onaga. Onaga draws the shooting space a violation. Actually, it's going to call the contact on Pinder before the pass. It'll be Saints possession here with 55 seconds on the shot clock. Inside, Teeple, great move out front, and she'll score off the assist from Carly LaFerrier. The second goal of the game for Carly Teeple.
freshman having herself one heck of a season as that will be her 27th goal of the year. And the Saints lead 9-4. Will be Hannah Fortin and Greta McGinnis at the midfield here for the draw control. Draw control won by the Saints as that one scooped up by Seabach. Big Spence barking here as. And Seabach got that dog in her. Scooping up the loose ball. Trainer with a lot of space works it inside. Out front for Tiefel and she'll score. Beautiful ball movement there from the Saints as they score their 10th goal of the game. This will be a hat trick for Carly Tiefel and her 28th goal of the season. Saints really just poured it on here. Montevallo started out real strong. Took an early lead, but the Saints able to claw back, take the lead at the beginning of the first period, and then it's been pretty much all Saints since then as they lead now by six. Guinness getting whistled for the contact there. It'll be possession for the Falcons. Norman's gonna bring it inside. top here. It's number 28, Kylie Shea. Shea's still working here behind the net. He's gonna leave this one off. Tanksley coming over to help. That shot's in the back of the net. A nice sidearm goal there for Michaela Barbieri. Falcons strike back now as the Saints lead 10 to five. Second goal of the game for Barbieri. Her 25th of the season. Barbieri the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Graduate of West Forsyth High School. It'll be Amber Lynch and Greta McGinnis at midfield here for draw control. Falcons still with a three control advantage. As McGinnis pops that one up. Pinder doing a good job of keeping this one loose. And Pinder will scoop it up as the Saints secure possession Inside, Morton in front of the net and she'll score. Bringing that one all the way down and the Saints strike right back and make this a six goal game yet again. Gotta love what you're seeing from the Saints, coached by Grant Kellum. 8.24 left here in the third. 
That goal for Lexi Morton, her second of the game and her, and her 44th of the season. Morton, the reigning GSC player of the week. Scoring yet another goal here as she continues her historic season for the Flagler College Saints. Ground ball, midfield here, still loose. LaFerrier fighting to keep it alive and she'll scoop it up. Saints with another win here. However, great defensive play there from number 12, Ashley Shen. However, Montevallo turns it right back over as Jen Seabock scoops up the loose ball. Pass just high there from LaFerrier and another turnover as both teams getting a little sloppy with their passing in the midfield. It's pressing here. That'll be Sydney Rulin getting pressured by Jessica Wright. Montevallo searching for an open outlet here. However, the Saints suffocating on defense as they've knocked 30 seconds off the clock as that pass is gonna just skip its way up to number 12, Ashley Shen. Inside now, and a goal for number nine, Jody Morowick. That's the second goal of the game for Morowick, and her eighth of the season as both teams going back and forth here. Saints lead 11 to six with 6.51 left in the third. It'll be McGinnis and Lynch. Tavalo coming right back with a goal of their own. Both teams trading goals here as will be Saints possession as Sloan got mauled in the midfield. Coach Grant Kellum having some words with our officials here, pleading for a warning as I believe that contact in the midfield was a bit overzealous. This is Trainer looking to work it inside for Onaga. That one saved by Rose. One heck of a save there as Onaga just turned and fired from point blank range. This is Defke. Saints pressuring here as Morton forces an errant pass. It's a race to the sideline here. That the ball is going to win. It'll be a turnover forced by Lexi Morton. The 21st of the game for the Falcons. Just a testament to how good the Saints defense has been all day. Sophia DeSimone getting her first action of the game here for the Saints. Yeah. 
three second violation here called on the Falcons Summer White getting her first appearance of the day for the Saints as well Inside Trainer, she'll score. Make that a hat trick for Caitlin Trainer as she scores her 23rd goal of the season. And the Saints lead 12 to 6. Caitlin Trainer, the sophomore, originally from Delray Beach, transferred over from Fresno State and had a great season for the Saints as Montevallo will take a timeout. Coming off of the timeout, there'll be five minutes left here in the third. Saints lead 12 to six. Off of two hat tricks from both Caitlin Trainer and Carly Teeple. Freshman and sophomore making their impacts known as we'll have a violation and it'll be Saints possession. Trainer's going to work it behind the net now to Morton. This is Sophia De Simone. Simone, the sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia, transferred over from Mount Olive. Jordan Green. Up top. To trainer who catches a stick to the face. There's going to be a card awarded here. A dangerous turn of events. It appears trainer's okay. It's going to be Kylie Shea heading to the penalty box here. Potentially a short trip to the box here as that's a releasable penalty and. Trainer 
have a three position attempt here from the top. She'll take a shot and score. Saints lead 13 to six now with four minutes and 10 seconds left in the third. The fourth goal of the game for Caitlin Trainer, her 24th of the season. Amy Water is going to come in here for the Saints as Sophia De Simone and Summer White will come off of the field for the Saints along with Carly Teeple. Also making an appearance here is Caitlin Figueres, the sophomore from Celebration, Florida. Also, Shaylee McGimsey, the freshman from Frisco, Texas, making an appearance on the back line for the Saints. McGinnis scooping up the possession off of the draw control for the Saints. It's working around. This is De Simone up top. Now to trainer. Usher on the field for the Saints. Lisa Simone gonna work behind the net. Trainer. Turning on the Jets here is gonna work to Usher behind the net. Actually, that's White. Usher out front. Scoops up the loose ball. That one's deflected by Rose, it'll be Saints possession still. Great save there from Rose. A point blank shot attempt for the Saints. Brown loses possession momentarily. Usher able to scoop it up for the Saints. Actually, unable to scoop it up as she'll just kind of push it out of bounds. It'll be a turnover for the Saints as they lead 13 to six with two minutes and 50 seconds. Long pass here to Waters deflected. That was Shaylee McGimsey. Nearly forced in a turnover. Able to quell the quick forming attack of the Falcons. Morawick. Great move there up top, but an even better defensive play after Trainer got beat. Scooped up out front of the net was Caitlin Figueres. And slowing it down here. to Morton. Morton loses possession momentarily, but able to just weave her way through traffic and bring it into the offensive third of the field for the Saints. Trainer up top. Weaves around, can't find an opening. 20 seconds on the shot clock here. With that 15 as Green looks for an outlet. Brown will drive, have it stripped away inside. It'll be a turnover for the Saints. 45 seconds left on the game clock here in the third. Falcons could hold for the last shot if they want. They'll go with a long pass. It'll be scooped up. Hard hit in the midfield from White. And an errant pass will be picked up by Figueres. 25 seconds as Figueres is going to drive here. Kalen looking for Usher. Pass deflected. A 
Usher with a hard check there, caught number 25, Sydney Rollin right in the midsection. And that will do it here for the third. Saints will take a 13 to six lead here into the fourth and final quarter of action here at Saints Field. Saints looking to make it an eight game winning streak. Gonna have a substitution in net here for the Falcons. It'll be number 23, Marie, Miranda Layard. Layard, the junior from Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada, making her way all the way down to Alabama for college. Definitely a lot warmer in St. Augustine today than it would be in Alberta. Beautiful 82 degree day here. Barely a cloud in the sky as Pinder will retain possession here off of the whistle. It's pretty much on pace to keep up with their scoring average on the year. Should be right around 16 and a half, 17 goals per game. Inside, looking for LaFerrier. Gonna be a foot race to the sideline that Green wins. Pinder with a great little shake and bake there. Right, wrapping around, finds herself out front, gets hit in the head, and will have a whistle and a free position attempt here for the Saints. Inside, right, we'll get another crack at it here.
Coach Grant Kellum. Encouraging the refs to take their whistles out here. Wright will take a shot and score her first goal of the game. That's her 24th of the season for the freshman. Right with her first goal of the game to pair with an with an assist. Saints lead by eight now with 13.42 left in the fourth. Draw control one here by the Falcons. Falcons win. Falcons with possession here. Side here for the Falcons. And we're going to get a free position attempt here for number 18, Crystal Williams. Williams with only assist will take a shot, but that one saved by Ribbit and Era. Williams looking to go low. Aaron pass there from the Saints goalkeeper is going to be a turnover. Pinder unable to scoop that one up off the hop. Morton, the hard check there. Drawing the whistle as she sent Anna Coase to the turf. And there's gonna be a card awarded here to Ella Pinder. Contact to the head and it'll be a free position attempt here for Coase. Turnover off of the free position attempt. This is Coach Chris Peterson having some words with freshman Ella Pender after that little mental mistake there. Peterson doing a good job coaching up one of the star freshmen on this Saints team. Up top, this is Trainer. Trainer already with four goals on the game today. Morton spinning, spinning again. Kicks it out, but she'll draw the whistle. Comes up a little gimpy there. Looks like she may have caught a stick to the left knee. There's a brace just below that knee. Looking at the star for the Saints is okay. She appears to be as she'll take the free position attempt here. Morton already with two goals on the game, looking to get herself a Hattie. She'll rip one into the back of the net, tickling the twine there as the Saints lead 15 to six. Lexi Morton with a hat trick, the third hat trick for the Saints today. And that is her 45th goal of the year as she continues her dominant senior campaign for the Saints.
have to imagine when the weekly coaches rankings come out that the Saints are due to move up after taking down the number 11 team in the country on the road, mind you. Saints only lost coming to number five, Grand Valley State. Saints making some substitutions here. That's number 44, Macy Schmidt in the game for the Saints. Along with number 35, Caroline Daziel. Mr. Madison Daziel. These are one of the standouts for the Saints last season. Hasn't seen quite as much playing time this season. Schmidt operating behind the net. Inside, Onaga scores! She went five hole on the goalkeeper. Morindo layered as the Saints lead by 10. as we like to say up in the booth, hickory dickory dock. We got a running clock from now on, ladies and gentlemen. 10 goal lead for the Saints with what will be right around 10 minutes left in the fourth. Saints right on track for their per game scoring average and they're doing a great job on the defensive end as well. Saints on the season allowing just around nine goals per game. They've held Montevallo to just six so far with 9.50 left here in the fourth. Saints bringing on a couple more of their bench unit here getting some newcomers some playing time. This is Tanksley on the far wing. Coming in for the Saints in the midfield is number 29, Kaylee Bruss. Right out front, that one saved. Green trying to go top shelf on the goalkeeper, Layered. Making her first appearance is the twin sister of Sophia De Simone and Lily De Simone, the sophomore from Chesapeake, Virginia. Saints still pressing here. Looking to keep the running clock in effect. That'll be a turnover force. Macy Schmidt will have a two on one. She'll work at the Teeple on the far side. Teeple out front will score. Defense into offense as Macy Schmidt gets her first assist of the season on the Carly Teeple goal. That's her fourth of the game for the freshman from Hollywood, Maryland. That's her 29th of the season as Carly Teeple continues to just dominate the offensive end for the Saints. Saints lead 17 to six now. The midfield is gonna be Anya Coes and Greta McGinnis. That one worked all the way up to Summer White. Still loose. We get a whistle and the Saints given possession. They're working fast here as Caroline Daziel hits the deck. No whistle there as Grant Kellum is pleading for something as Caroline took quite the hit. Out front, Saints collapsing on defense, doing a good job there as well, the loose ball. Saints come up with it, that's Kaylin Figueres. Saints working it up to Tanksley now at the midfield. This is Caroline Daziel. Take some contact there and we'll have a whistle. Yeah. 
Riley Miller coming into the game along with number 27, Bella Graziano. It's Delaney Brown. Or actually, that's Summer White down low. She worked it up to Tanksley. Now to Trainer inside looking for Daziel. Schmidt looking inside. Graziano. Un bella golazzo for Graziano. Her first goal of her career coming late in the fourth quarter. Graziano, the freshman from Sayville, New York, as the Saints bench goes wild for the freshman. It'll be McGinnis at midfield here with number 22, Hannah Fortin. A party on the same sideline here as they're congratulating the freshman on her first collegiate goal. Waters unable to scoop it up and I believe she's gonna get Warded a card here, inadvertent stick to the face. Head coach Grant Kellum having some words with our officiating crew here. First collegiate card for Amy Waters. It's really extending their defense here as Schmidt is hounding number 25, Sydney Rollin in the defensive end. And that pass skips past Delaney Defke. This is Rollin bringing it up. This is Chloe Norman bringing it inside. Saints nearly forcing a turnover. However, it will be a free position attempt for Chloe Norman. Norman kicks it across, and that's a goal for number 18, Crystal Williams. Actually, that's gonna be a goal for number 16, Jenna Piazza. Say it's making a Defensive change here is Grace Schwab, the sophomore from Plantation, Florida, will take over in net for the Saints as they lead by 11 with 2.50 left here in the fourth. Caroline Daisy will wrap it around. Finds Graziano out front. That one saved. Freshman looking for a second goal of the game. A couple of substitutions here as Sarah Hines makes her first appearance. Tough stumble there from Jaden Hardy, the freshman from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Liz Fournier 
also making a first appearance as the Falcons will get inside and score. That's number nine, Jody Morowick, with her third goal of the game. She has herself a hat trick on the day. Saints still lead by 10 with a minute 30 left here in the fourth. Madison Ward coming off for the Saints. The freshman getting her first appearance of the day from Bel Air, Maryland. Paige Hallbaum also making her first appearance, the freshman from La Plata, Maryland. Again, it's still in the circle here for, for draw control. Possession going to be awarded to the Saints. Jaden Hardy coming off for the Saints. Also making her first appearance of the day is Kaylee Bruss. Saints nearly turn it over here. Good job from number 33, Caroline Blaha. Box out on the ground ball. Saints working it up. They got Usher wide open in the mid. Usher driving. Going to kick it over. Top shelf goal there for number 44, Macy Schmidt. I believe that's the first goal of Macy Schmidt's, actually the second goal of Macy Schmidt's career. And that's going to do it here, ladies and gentlemen, as the Saints will win 19-8. Great day for the Flagler College Saints as they extend their seven-game winning streak to eight. Tristan Usher on the assist there on the Schmidt goal. Saints with a couple of days off here as they make it eight straight. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, your final score, Flag Flagler 19, Montevideo 8. Next game for your Saints is going to be against Young Harris at 11 a.m. on s next Saturday here at Saints Field. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in for myself and the rest of the Saints family. I am Jordan Fauci. Have a great rest of your day.